I'm Nancy Green Rain. 50 years ago, I was Nancy Green, and I won two medals in the 1968 Winter Olympics in Grenoble, France, a silver in the slalom and a gold in the giant slalom. When I think back over those 50 years, it's gone by so fast, everything has changed, but really the more things change, the more they stay the same. I've had the pleasure to meet Kelsey Sirwa, who won a gold medal at the Olympics last winter in uh, Pyeongchang in Korea. Of course, she was in a completely new sport. Ski cross didn't exist when I was racing, but it's a fantastic event. It really is a sprint and you're on the course with other athletes. It's very exciting, must be exciting to be in, but it's also really fun to watch. So Olympics has changed. Great to have Olympic champions 50 years apart. I'm very, very proud of our Canadian team and especially Kelsey Sirwa, who is such a great example of an athlete and a human being. I started skiing in Red Mountain when I was a little kid. I was three years old. My parents were founding members of a ski club that built the second chairlift in Canada. So naturally we had an advantage having a chairlift on our mountain and all of us kids in Rossland became good skiers. And it's interesting because Kelsey Sirwa's grandparents built Big White. And so she was very involved from the Big White ski area from the time she was a little child. And we both grew up on skis and we both got into skiing at an early age. I was skiing just for fun until I was 14 and then started ski racing in the high school. For Kelsey, she got started earlier um, because she started in a program that's all across Canada called the Nancy Green, little, or Nancy Green Ski League. Um, so it's kind of fun, it makes us connected as well. The Nancy Green Ski League is a program that started in Ontario and it spread all across Canada in 1969. So this coming winter marks the 50th anniversary of it being a national program. Somewhere along the line, Southern Ontario decided to change the name and so it's not referred to in the ski clubs around here as the Nancy Green program, but most places in Canada it still is. And I'd be very happy if they decided to put my name back on the program. From that program came great champions, people like Steve Podborski and Ken Reed and Laurie Graham and all the great champions that Canada has produced got their start in the Nancy Green Ski League. So it is, the whole program is successful because the philosophy of the program has never changed. It's to put the fun in the fundamentals, to teach the kids the fundamental basics of really good ski technique beyond the ski school level so that you learn to ski fast but safely. You learn control and it's fun because you're with a group of kids, good coaches, and you're all working, uh, learning together. And uh, along the way, you start getting introduced to ski racing, but usually you're racing as a team, not as individuals. The emphasis is on participation and fun for everyone. So I won two medals in Grenoble. The first one I won was the silver medal in the slalom. And I was happy with that because slalom is always a bit of a, a gamble, you know. And, and yet when I stood on the podium to get that medal, I wasn't content. I knew my heart and my, my determination was to win a gold medal. I'd, come very, I'd done very badly in the downhill. I placed 10th and was very disappointed. So when it came time for the giant slalom, I knew this was my best chance. I had won most of the giant slaloms the previous year and that year leading up to the games. And so I was the favorite. There was a course that was set, it was very, very long, longer than most courses. And it had a steep icy place at the bottom. And so it was really set up for me because I had really efficient technique. I raced, I studied the course, I raced it super well, came through the finish line. And when it was all over, I was more than two and a half seconds ahead. Standing on the podium for this medal was amazing. Seeing the Canadian flag go up, it was the first time the new Canadian flag had flown atop an Olympic flagpole. And I knew then that my life would be changed, that now everybody would know me, and it, it does change your life.
When I think back to my career, one of the most important things that happened to me was being the roommate of Anne Hegveet, who won a gold medal for Canada in the 1968 60 Olympics. I was only 16 years old. When I saw her win, I said, if she can do it, I can do it. And you know, all around Canada, when people watch the Olympics, there are little kids watching, and they look at their heroes, and they say, if they can do it, I can do it. So we're fortunate in Canada, we do, for the most part, have a good sports system. And if a kid works hard and gets support from the family, from their club, if they want to do it, as long as they work for it, they'll get close and they might just do it. That's the goal for so many people. Not everybody reaches the top step on the podium, but whatever you do in sport, you set yourself goals, you learn how to work towards it, and those qualities serve you well the rest of your life. So sport is for everyone. Not everyone can win, but everybody can learn and everybody can do their best through sport. I went to three Olympics. The first one I was a rookie. The second one I thought I could win. By the time I got to my third Olympics, I knew I could win. I had won before, I knew I could do it again. And there is a different mindset because you're looking down the course, you're focusing on everything and you, you shut out everything else because you know that in that moment you have to be one with the course and you fire out of the gate, you, you absolutely have to explode out of the gate but there's nothing on your mind except the course. You don't really worry about the outcome. Whatever happens is going to happen. I love coming to the Toronto Ski Show. It's a great place to meet people and learn all about uh, what's happening in skiing. I'll be at the show on Sunday from 11 until 1. Unfortunately, then I have to take off and head back home to Sun Peaks, where I'm the director of skiing and the snow is starting to fall. So if you're around on Sunday, come and see me at the Sun Peaks booth between 11 and 1. Bye.